thanks for joining me on your mat today. I'm Morgan from Finding My Own, and today we're going to move through a short but awesome shoulder opening sequence. So we're going to go ahead and get started right away in child's pose. You'll bring your big toes to touch. Open your knees nice and wide on your mat. Extend your fingertips forward and allow your forehead to rest gently on your mat. Begin to arrive on your mat. Slowing down your mind, slowing down your breath. Allowing your body to relax. Allowing your shoulders to melt away from your ears. Take a deep, full breath in. Go all the way up. And exhale, open up. Let the breath go. Another deep, full breath in. Full breath out. And one more inhale, fill up. Exhale, release the breath. And slowly begin to walk your hands towards your knees. We're going to roll over onto our sits bones, coming into a comfortable seat. You can take a cross-legged seat here. We're going to begin to move through a seated cat and cow. So we'll interlace the fingers, press the palms forward, and inhale, cow pose. Press your heart forward. Exhale, cat pose around your spine. Press your palms away from you. Inhale, cow pose, heart opens. Exhale, cat around through the spine. Inhale. Exhale. We'll do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, round. Good. Release your hands. Roll back up to a seat. And we're going to come onto all fours, stacking the shoulders over the wrists. Hips are open to knees. We'll take one cat and cow here on all fours. Inhale, cow pose, belly drops. Exhale, cat, round your spine. Good. Return to a neutral spot. And we're going to thread the needle here. So inhale, reach your right arm nice and high toward the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, send your right arm behind your left wrist, drop your right shoulder and ear down to the mat. Good, breathing into your right shoulder. If you like to deepen it, you can extend your left fingertips forward. Staying with your breath. Deep, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Let your left palm, inhale, reach your right fingertips up high to the sky. And exhale, lower the hand down to the mat. We'll move on to the opposite side. Inhale, reach your left fingers high. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm behind the right wrist. Right e left ear drops down onto the mat with left shoulder. Maybe you extend your right arm forward. Breathing into your shoulder. Deep, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. And one more full breath in. Full breath out. Let your right palm back down on the mat. Inhale, reach your left fingertips up high to the sky. And exhale, release your hand down to the mat. And from here, we'll tuck our toes under and press the hips up and back, coming into a downward facing dog. You can pedal out your dog here. Bring some movement into your legs. That feels good. Really spread your fingers wide on your mat. Look down through your pointer finger and your thumb. Wrap your triceps back. Press your shoulders down your back. So instead of allowing them to dip into the shoulder girdle here, you want to press them out and weight across. Allowing our arm strength to hold up the weight of our body. Full breath in, full breath out, deep breath in, exhale, inhale, knees forward, exhale, step to a ragdoll pose, step your feet, hip width distance behind your wrists, take a generous bend in the knees here, bring your belly onto your thighs and grab for opposite elbows maybe, 
Take a gentle sway side to side. Allow your head and neck to fall down heavy towards your mat. Slowly release your body. Until your feet to touch. Inhale to a halfway lift. Lengthen nice and tall through your spine. Feel the crown of your head. Reach toward the front of the mat as your tailbone reaches back. Take a full breath in. And exhale forward. Fold bow forward. Give an inhale to a halfway lift. Lengthening through the spine. Exhale forward. Fold. Good. Bend your knees. Inhale. Rise up to mountain pose to stand. And exhale your hands to your heart. Take a deep full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Mountain pose. Reach your fingers up to the sky. We'll exhale to a baby back bend. Cactus out your arms here. Lift through your heart. Allow your shoulder blades to wrap behind your back. Inhale. Reach your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, hinge forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to your high plank. Pause here, engage your core, press your mat away from you. Take a deep full inhale. And exhale, lower to your low chaturanga, your low plank. Inhale to upward facing dog, shoulders roll back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send the hips up and back. Full breath in, full breath out, inhale, exhale, we will flow our sun again, inhale, gaze forward, exhale, step your feet to your hands, inhale to a halfway lift, exhale, fold forward, inhale, mountain pose, reach up, rise up, exhale, hands to heart, inhale, mountain Exhale, baby back and lift through the heart. Inhale, reach. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms high to low plank. Move with your breath. Keep your elbows hugging nice and close to your sides. As you inhale to your upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Full inhale. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Drop down onto your back knee. Untuck your toes. We'll inhale to low lunge. Fingertips reach up here. Good. From here, you can really bend into your front knee, stretching into your left hip flexor. Take a deep, full breath in. And exhale, release your hands to your low back. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, reach your heart up to the sky. Good, so we're rolling the shoulders back, lifting through the heart. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Gently release your hands. Press your palms down into the mat. Tuck your back toes and press back downward facing dog. We'll take that on the opposite side. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot in between your hands. Drop down onto the back knee. Untuck your toes. Inhale, reach up. So we'll set up nice and strong through the legs here. Again, really bending into that front knee. Take a deep, full breath in. Exhale, release your hands to your low back. Interlace your hands again. Maybe this time you take the awkward grip, the one that feels a little bit funny. Lift through your heart. Roll your shoulders back. Stay with your breath. Breath in. Full breath out. Release your hands down to your mat. Tuck your toes. Press back downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Raise your right leg high. Exhale. Step your right foot in between your hands. 
We're going to rise up to warrior two. So our back foot's rooted down into the mat, parallel with the short edge of the mat. Step your right knee over your right ankle. Reach out nice and long through your arms. From here, we'll release our hands down to our low back. I'm going to turn around so you can all see what I'm doing with my hands here. So from here, we're going to bring our hands over to our left glute and drop our right ear down towards our right shoulder. Breathing into our left trap, making space across the shoulders. Deep, full breath in, full breath out. Inhale to center, and exhale, switch. Hands go towards the right glute, and left ear drops down toward the left shoulder. Return to relax your right shoulder away from the ear. Inhale. Good. Release your hands. Reach your fingertips out nice and wide. And turn around so you can see me. Take a deep, full breath in. And exhale to your extended side angle. Right forearm, arm to the right thigh. Left fingertips are reaching out overhead. Rolling the shoulders back. Making spaces expand across the chest. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, rise up to your warrior two. We'll straighten the front leg, turn the right toes in so they're parallel to the left foot. Both feet are facing like they're number 11. Roll your shoulders back, interlace your hands again. Take a deep breath in, lift up through your heart, roll your shoulders back. And exhale, bow forward for a wide legged forward fold with the shoulder rings. And allow your arms to drop heavy overhead. Creating space through the upper back, releasing the shoulders, letting your head and neck fall heavy. Deep, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly begin to bring your hands to your hips. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale completely. Inhale, rise all the way up, nice and tall. And exhale to warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Flow through your chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Good, we'll do that sequence on the left side. Inhale, raise the left leg. Exhale, set the left foot in between the hands. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Nice and strong, root it through that back foot. Release your hands down to your low back. Roll the shoulders back, down the back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands go to the left glute. Drop your right ear down towards your right shoulder. Same with the right. Turn back to center. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Hands go toward the right glute. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Good. Rise up. And back to your warrior two. And stay here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to extended side angle. Hinge forward. Good, reaching the right fingertips overhead, rolling the shoulders back, lifting your heart, shining it up toward the sky. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, rise up to your warrior two. Straighten the front leg, turn the left toes in. Release the hands down to the low back. Roll your shoulders back, lift through your heart. Take a deep, full inhale. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, hinge forward. Maybe this time your hands fall a little bit closer down towards the floor as you shift your weight into your toes. Breathing into your shoulders and the backs of your hamstrings. Full breath in. Full breath out. Slowly bring your hands back to your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale completely. 
Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. And exhale, open to your warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, chaturanga. Cartwheel the hands down to the mat, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. From here, take a moment. Drop down onto your knees. Come into your child's pose. You can take your regular child's pose here, or if you'd like, you can plant your palms together like a prayer pose, dropping your forehead down onto the mat, bending your elbows, bringing your prayer hands to the nape of your neck. This may deepen the stretch in the shoulders for, the, for you. You feel pretty nice. back down onto the mat. We're going to roll back onto all fours. Tuck the toes under. Send the hips back. And from here, we'll walk the feet up a little bit closer to our hands. You might want to take them a little bit wider as well. From here, we're going to take our left hand and reach for our right ankle. And keep breathing and opening across the shoulders. Roll your shoulders back. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Place your left hand back down to the mat. Right hand reaches for the right ankle, shin, leg, wherever you can grab. The tendency here is to sag into left shoulder, but we want to press away, gazing underneath our left arm. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And plant your palms. You're going to shift your feet back to downward facing dog. Feet are hip width distance apart. And we'll inhale. Raise the right leg high. Exhale, set the right foot in between your hands. Rise up to a warrior one. Your back foot is rooted down into the mat. It's at a 45 degree angle. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release your hands to your low back. Inhale, lift through your heart. Roll your shoulders back. And exhale to humble warrior. Bow forward, bringing your shoulders to the inside. Your right knee. Right knee stays hugged in nice and close to your body. Allowing your arms to drop overhead. Staying nice and strong through that back leg. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, slowly begin to rise all the way back up to your warrior one. Reach your fingertips overhead. Lift through your heart. Take a full breath in. And exhale, plant your palms. And we'll press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg high. Exhale, step the left foot through. Rise up, warrior one. And then we'll release our hands down to the low back. Maybe take that awkward grip here again. Inhale, lift through the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. From here, keep pulling back on the left hip. Creating space for you to fold to the inside of your thigh. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Slowly rise back up. Reach your fingertips up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Plant the palms. And press back to downward facing dog. Full inhale. Full exhale. And from here, slowly begin to walk your hands towards your feet. Slowly roll up, nice and slow, one vertebra at a time, until you rise all the way up to stand. So from here, we're going to take a balancing pose. We're going to move into eagle pose. So for eagle pose, bring the big toes to touch, nice and tall to stand. And we'll inhale like we're sitting down into a chair pose. From here, wrap your right arm underneath your left. You can bring the backs of your hands to touch, palms can come to touch, or if your shoulders are still feeling really tight, always an option to take a bear hug grip here. We'll bring the right knee up and over the left, crossing the thighs. Maybe you kickstand the right foot. Maybe you tuck the toes behind the calf. Then sit down into your chair pose, your eagle legs. 
lifting your arms and leaving them, rolling your shoulders back, lifting up through your heart. Full breath out. Inhale, rise up, fly your eagle, and exhale, release it, let it go. We'll take that on the opposite foot. We'll sit back in our chair pose, left arm drops under. Again, whichever arm variation works for you, left leg will come up and over. Kickstand the toes or cactus them. But wherever you are, roll your shoulders behind your back, lift your elbows and forearms away from your chest. Creating space across the back side of the shoulders. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, fly your eagle, rise up. And shake it out, let it go. Good, we'll come back to the top of our mat. Inhale, mountain pose to reach up. And exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to your high plank pose, and from here lower all the way down onto your belly, nice and slow. Untuck your toes, lower your chin or forehead down to the mat. So from here we're going to tee out our arms, take them nice and wide. And we're going to plant our right palm onto the mat, and slowly begin to shift onto our left side. And from here, you can stay here, breathing into the left shoulder. This may feel really intense. If you need a little bit more, you can plant your right foot down onto the floor, staying here. If you need even more, maybe you reach your right arm up, and lower it down, taking a half bind. Staying with the breath. Breathing into your left shoulder. breath in, full breath out, one more inhale, and exhale, slowly begin to roll back into your belly, and we'll tee out the arms again, and then turn around and create a little more space on this side, so we'll tee out the arms this time, we'll begin to roll onto the right side, planting the left palm into the mat. Maybe the left foot drops behind. Maybe you reach the left arm up and take that half bind. But wherever you are, move nice and slow. And really reach your fingertips up to create space across the right shoulder. And stay with your breath. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Slowly begin to roll onto your belly, nice and slow, all the way beginning to press up onto your knees. I love that pose, especially after sitting all day, just getting to hunch the shoulders up. It really allows us to open across the chest and really use the floor to support us and help us open more. So from here, we're actually going to take Gomukhasana, a cow facing pose. So we'll tuck our left knee. Bend the left knee, tuck the ankle towards the right hip. Right leg will cross over. You can widen out your feet to make them as comfortable as you'd like. Or keep them hugged in nice and close to the hips, whichever feels more comfortable and spacious for you. And for cow facing arms, we're going to bend the right hand, bring it towards the low back, or excuse me, the upper mid back. Bend the left elbow, begin to reach for the fingers here. So here you can use your hands, you can use a towel. If you can't reach your fingertips, you can use your shirt. I'll turn it on to show you a little bit better. So you can grab for the fingertips. Maybe you just hold on to some clothing. You can grab a yoga strap, a towel, whatever feels good. But wherever you are, instead of hunching forward, allow your shoulders to roll back. So the back of the head presses into your upper arm. Staying with your breath. Slowly begin to release your arms. Turn around so you can see me again. 
We switch for opposite direction here. So this time the right leg will tuck under, left leg will cross on top. Again, creating space, whichever is comfortable for you, closer to the hips or more, a little bit further away. That opens you up a little bit more. So we'll inhale, reach the left arm behind, bend the elbow, take the right hand, reach back for your fingertips. Again, use whatever props you need here. This pose might feel different on both sides. This side feels a lot tighter for me, that's okay. Again, roll the shoulders back, lift through the heart, stay with the breath. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Slowly begin to release your arms. If you go, shoot your shoulders out. We're going to come all the way down onto our backs. Well, as you roll all the way down, we'll bring our knees in toward the chest, taking happy baby pose, grabbing for the outside edges of the feet. Press your roll back into the mat. Maybe you take a gentle sway side to side, whatever feels good in your body, taking any final movements your body would like here. We'll hug the knees in toward the chest, curl them to a tight ball, wrap your forearms around your shins, hug your forehead into your knees, take a deep breath in, give yourself a big hug full of love and gratitude. And exhale, release and she's sure your shavasana. Extending your arms and legs out long on your mat. From here, roll your shoulder blades behind your back, nice and broad through the chest. Allow your breath to slow down. Allow your mind to surrender. Just stay right here on this mat into your Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Thank you all for practicing with me. Namaste.